desert. There is no wolf hawk in the desert. Wait, there's no wolf hawk anywhere. Oh yeah, there is. Let's see, here in the Sonoran Desert, there's Buteojamesensis, AKA the red-tailed hawk. There's a Cipiter cooperi, the cooper's hawk. And Parabuteo unisinctus, AKA the wolf hawk. No, that's the Harris's hawk. Well, yeah, but I think Wolf Hawk is a better name, so I'm calling them Wolf Hawks. <laughs> but you can't just go changing their names. Not changing it, just giving it a second better name. The Wolf Hawk. <laughs> yeah, it is a good name. But they don't really look like wolves. So why would you call them Wolf Hawks? Come on, let's go for a hike and I'll show you. You're on. Yeah, I want to see how a bird can be a wolf. Not too sure I do. What's he going to do next? Rename a giraffe? The tree-necked goat? <laughs> this ought to be good. Hold it, hold it. Listen to this. <clears throat> the Harris's hawk was discovered by famed naturalist John James Audubon and named after his friend Edward Harris in the 1800s. This hawk can be found all over South America to the bottom of North America, where we are now. And yeah, and here, in this little spot in the Sonoran Desert, in the northernmost point, they should be called wolf hawk. And I'll show you why. But they're actually called the Harris's hawk. All right, everybody, get ready for it. I see a raptor at 12 o'clock. It's coming this way. Great job, Aviva. You found a wolf hawk. Yeah! Yeah! A wolf hawk! A wolf hawk! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Wow, it's getting nearer. Uh-oh, follow that wolf hawk. It's not called a wolf hawk. It's a Harris's hawk. Wolf hawk! Ah! Ooh, I love it when Martin and Chris are fighting. Harris's hawk. <laughs> wolf hawk. Harris's hawk. Whoop, gotta fly to see the wolf hawk. Harris's hawk. Oh, you can't just make up new species names for animals. Oh, hello. Did you know you're not a roadrunner anymore? Now you're a sand sprinter? 